Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Jessica Conley. We're gonna talk about the storm that's on the way and we'll go through the details, of course the timing, what you can expect, when you can expect it, uh, and all that. We have a lot to talk about. We have snow and rain with this one, depending on where you are, of course, and we have some pretty strong winds that could uh, cause some power outages tomorrow morning. So we're gonna break it down, just giving everyone a second to join me. Um, and I'm logging onto my phone so I can hopefully see some of your um, questions as we go through this timeline here. So again, if you just give me a second, you can see what's happening with the storm right now, starting to kind of come together and we'll see again, most of this move in overnight tonight and through the early morning hours of tomorrow morning. Hope you guys are all having a nice day. Not too bad out there today. We had a couple uh, rain and snow showers depending on where you were, but other than that, things were pretty quiet today and tomorrow's gonna be quite, quite a bit different, that's for sure. We're good, Aaron. I'm not seeing it on my phone for some reason. Wow. I'm not seeing like the Facebook Live at all. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Well, hello again. Um, we're going to talk about this storm, what to expect, and you know when you can see all the good stuff. Um, and we'll talk about who's going to get snow, who's going to get rain. And of course, we're going to talk about the winds too, because that's going to be a pretty big part of this as we go through uh, the day tomorrow. Of course, as always, I have no information on any school closings for anybody. I know they don't ask my opinion. However, um, you can check with your, of course, local school department tomorrow morning. And of course, we're going to have all the cancellations and delays uh, on air tomorrow morning. We'll have them on our website. We'll have them everywhere. So you'll be able to uh, check on those, of course, tomorrow. But I do expect there will be some can cancellations and delays again, just really depending on um, where exactly you are. You can do your snow day superstitions if you if you don't want to have school tomorrow. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everybody. Um, the wind is gonna be here, Monica, for most of the day tomorrow, and it's even still gonna be breezy into Friday. So we'll go through that timeline here in just a second. Some of the wind gusts could get pretty high, close to uh, 60 miles an hour closest to the coast. So not ideal, of course, not a great situation, but good thing to do tonight to prepare for this. You all know this, but I'm just gonna remind you, little friendly reminder, make sure your cell phones charge. Uh, anything, you know, charge that needs to be charged, grab some batteries and have, you know, flashlights and all that ready, especially if you're in one of those locations that, you know, typically tends to lose power, you know, tomorrow you do have a shot at it. So um, again, let's go through the timeline here. So right now storm's starting to move closer to us. It's gonna take a little bit longer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit longer to really get here. It's really gonna be overnight tonight and through the early morning hours of tomorrow that we're gonna see that. Uh, start up. So let's go through the timeline first for the precipitation and then we'll talk about what to expect as far as uh, the wind goes. And again, that even for some of you, for some of us, it's going to be um, the bigger story really will be the wind. So through tonight, again, all is pretty quiet out there. Not a lot going on. Some clouds around, maybe a couple scattered rain or snow showers, but not too bad. As we go into the early morning hours of tomorrow, we start to see that rain and snow move in through the very early morning hours. So that by three o'clock, you can see where the rain snow line sets up on this particular model. I do think it could be uh, at inched kind of slightly closer to the coast so that Lewiston and Augusta will see snow very early tomorrow morning, Waterville as well. Uh, and I think even into Bangor could start as some snow. But along the coast, you'll notice all rain for this event, you know, could see maybe a couple wet snowflakes mixing in, but that is really, really gonna do it. All right, then as we go through, here we go. As we go through the rest of tomorrow morning, you can see that rain really picking up uh, in intensity. Hold on a second here, there we go. Uh, five o'clock, we're starting to see some heavy rainfall in southern New York County. We'll go to six o'clock tomorrow morning. You're starting to see that heavy rain in York County into Cumberland County as well. Uh, some pretty heavy snow about to start in the mountains too. Ski resorts, you're gonna love me. This is gonna be a good one for you guys. Plenty of snow there. Uh, you can see Waterville now transition. Same thing for Bangor, uh, mainly seeing snow at this point. Then as we go to about seven o'clock tomorrow morning, very heavy rain falling in uh, parts of Southern Maine, mainly in York County and into Southern parts of Cumberland County, starting to get a little bit heavier too 
in the mid coast. Look at that snow though. Northern Oxford County, we're really starting to see that snowfall. Rangeley, you're starting to see some fairly heavy snowfall rates too. We'll go through eight o'clock tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. So of course, schools at this point have considered you know what's been happening and hopefully they've considered what's going to happen for the rest of the day and again we'll have all those cancellations and delays as we usually do for you tomorrow we'll go through the rest of the morning 10 o'clock tomorrow morning you can see still mainly snow in bangor waterville too of course greenville and millinocket seeing an all snow event but it's the mountains that are really going to see uh, quite a bit of snow with this We'll go through tomorrow late morning and into early tomorrow afternoon. I do think it could, you know, hang out, linger a little bit longer in far southern Maine, but we will clear out as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Bangor, though, Waterville at 3 o'clock, still snowing. And you can see, you know, some moderate snowfall rates. Um, so that's going to help that snow pile up. One of our, um, our areas of discussion today was the greater Bangor area, um, and we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, then as we get into tomorrow night, maybe your drive home from work around here. Let me go back to four, five o'clock, things starting to wrap up, certainly in Southern and Central Maine and Northern and Eastern Maine starting to clear out. As we go into the day on Friday, we'll all clear out, it's gonna be a little bit cooler. So there's the precipitation first. As far as snowfall totals go, I'll show you that, but then I'm gonna skip right back to the winds because again, for many of us, that's really gonna be the big story. Um, this is what we have for the snow map right now always as always subject to change um, right now we have lewiston right on that one to three three to six line that means we think you're going to get about three inches if you fall kind of right between those um, augusta just in the one to three i bet you'll be pretty close to three waterville to the north of that so closer to four or five inches bangor is right on that three to six six to ten line i was kind of in the camp that bangor might get a little bit more um, Keith was kind of talking me down, but we'll see what happens as we go through tonight and we get the new model uh, information. We'll talk about that more at 11. Anyway, at, probably at least six inches in the greater Bangor area. And then of course the mountains, 10 plus, it's a good storm for you. All right, let me go back to the winds and then I promise I'll look at some of your questions. <laughs> Are you guys fighting on the Facebook Live right now? Knock it off. <laughs> fighting. Come on guys, nice. cut it out. Everyone's so nice here. All right, let's look at the, knock it off. I feel like I'm talking to like my students. Um, all right, let's talk about the wind gusts. So tomorrow morning, four o'clock, winds gusting already 30 to 45, uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour. That's fine, it's windy for sure. But then as we go into like the middle and kind of late morning hours, you can see those wind gusts along the coast. Look at Rockland gusting up into the 50s. That's when it starts to get pretty serious, right? Um, and as we go through the rest of the morning into the early afternoon, uh, this model puts out a wind gust of 63. I think that's a little high, but I would not be surprised to see wind gusts mid 50s, possibly uh, up to 60 miles an hour, especially um, right along the, the coast there. We made this map, I forgot to add it in here. We made this map to talk about the wind gusts. All right. All right, there we go for the wind gusts. Um, so power outage is definitely uh, a possibility with this, unfortunately. No one likes the power outages, but we do wanna make sure you're ready for them. Yeah, this is tomorrow, Thursday. It's all right, you guys know that. Hello to everyone saying hi. All right, I'm trying to see um, what your questions are. Is it the headline that says Tuesday or did I say Tuesday? That's fine. Of course we mean tomorrow. You guys know. Hello to everyone saying hi. I'm just trying to see what you guys are saying. You guys be friendly on Facebook. Come on. No one likes a meanie. <laughs> Laughing at some of the comments. I don't know. You guys are crazy. You guys sick of winter or what? You're all getting a little grumpy. Not all of you, just some of you. Um, Anyways, you guys got the general idea of things, of course. Thank you, Rachel, you're welcome. Um, of course, I'm gonna go on and answer your questions after. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to post them here. We're gonna post this too, so if you kind of missed that timeline at the beginning, you can of course play through it and check out where your area is so you'll know exactly what to expect um, and when. It's lovely to see you all, kind of, through 
I mean, it's lovely to see you, see you <laughs> through, through Facebook Live. Um, you know, hopefully we don't have a ton of power outages tomorrow, but that 60, you know, possibly 60 mile an hour wind gust range is not fantastic. So Adam, any Netflix recommendations? Oh my gosh, Cheer. Have you seen Cheer yet? It's amazing. It's so good. I talk about it all the time. The Everyone's like, yeah, the newsroom loves it. That's all I got. All right. I hope you guys all have a good night. So nice to see you. Um, oh, good question, Lynette. What time will peak wind gusts be really um, as we go into like the late morning and early afternoon is when the strongest winds will be. Once we post this, you can play it back and you can see like the hour by hour wind gust map. Um, mid coast kind of right around like 11 a.m. noon, one o'clock ish. Um, same thing for Portland too, probably more like 10 or 11 a.m. for the peak wind gust. Great, great question. Again, charge your stuff tonight. You might as well, right? Um, hit up the grocery store if you need anything. I know, you're like, we have enough food, it's good. Um, but there could definitely be some power outages tomorrow. We'll have all that information for you as well. Um, and that's all I got. I'm gonna go have some dinner. Um, we'll have a full update tonight at 11, of course, and I'll